For those on a tighter budget, let's see what we can squeeze out of some V30 and V60 cards on the A74. What's up everybody? Top of the line memory cards can get really expensive and not all of us have that kind of money. The problem is that all those awesome camera specs and features everyone's talking about usually assume that you're using the fastest cards around, which many of us are not. Because of that, today I'm going to test the performance of more reasonably priced V30 and V60 SD cards to see what they can get out of the A7 IV. For all these tests I'm using manual focus to make sure that autofocus is not slowing down the shooting rate and I'll be using the popular SanDisk Extreme Pro 128GB V30 card and the ProGrade 128GB V60 card in the test. For those of you who just want the results, here they are. For those who want the proof, all of the 30 tests are played in real time so that you can feel how fast or slow the shooting rates are. I'll summarize the findings at the end of the video after the test. Starting off here with the SanDisk V30 card in JPEG only mode, here come the tests.
So JPEG, HEIF, and any compressed raw shooting modes get you 10 FPS, while any lossless compressed and any uncompressed shooting modes only give you 6 FPS. The V30 and V60 card both let you shoot at the same max FPS, but the V60 card gets you more shots until the buffer fails and faster buffer clear times. Only you can be the judge of what performance and what price point you're comfortable with, but I hope these tests will help you make your purchase decision. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.